Hello, welcome to my first ever YouTube exclusive playthrough. I'm very excited to be doing this. Uh, I'm going to be playing Disco Elysium. It's a game I don't know much about, but I'm very excited to start. Um, but first of all, I should let you know, my name is Ad. Um, you may not know me. I know a lot of you watching will be aware of my Twitch channel, maybe of my YouTube channel. Um, but I thought I'd do something I've never done before, which is stream a game exclusively on YouTube. Um, there are a few reasons why I'm doing that, which I'll let you know in a second. I know you're just going to want to jump to the game. If you go down to the description, there'll be a little time thing you can click on and you can jump to me starting the game. Um, but just to let you know, I am a, a Twitch partner over at twitch.tv forward slash ad underscore ad underscore ad. Um, I've been streaming for about 18 months. I'm a variety streamer and I play a lot of different games. But the key thing to know is that I'm not really a gamer. Before Twitch, I used to play the odd sports game. I used to play, uh, I played Goldeneye back in the day. Um, I completed The Last of Us when I had a PlayStation for about a year. And I also completed a Batman game. Um, but really, I don't do a lot of gaming, but I really enjoy Twitch. Um, I became partner at the end of 2023. Uh, and I'm really enjoying myself. And because I'm having a good time and we've got loads of lovely people in the community, in the chat who come and uh, who come and watch and get involved at every stream, Tuesday afternoon, Friday afternoon, Monday evening, by the way, um, I get recommended games. And one of the games that people often talk about, a lot of people talk about this being one of their favorite games is Disco Elysium. And I was told, play it ad, you're going to love it, but maybe play it off stream. Because I tend to have a problem, and I know there's a lot of streamers uh, out there who will do this, where they'll play a game on stream and they get distracted. Like they'll miss key things that happen. I played Portal for the first time on stream recently. Loved it. I now get a load of jokes that people have made um, Portal references for like the last decade that I haven't been able to get. That They now make sense. Um, but in the very final scene, I was distracted by somebody in the chat talking about traitors the UK TV show Traitors. So um, I'm hoping with this, it's going to be a lot more immersive for me. Uh, I can just zone into the game, not get distracted by chat and um, really, really enjoy it. But I thought it'd be fun to do something that was exclusive to YouTube. Um, I know a lot of people will still enjoy watching me play this game and we'll see how we get on. No distractions. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be weird. There's not going to be random questions in chat about what, my favorite color of dog is or whatever it is that people usually ask me. I love everybody who watches. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, come and check me out over on Twitch, ad, ad, ad. Um, and uh, if you check out the rest of my YouTube channel, you can see the VODs of all the other games I've played, including Portal. I've played a lot of Rust, a lot of Minecraft, loads of other things. Um, you can check out all the VODs. But yeah, subscribe if you like, and you'll get um, alerts um, as to when the next episode of this goes out. Now, I don't know anything about this game, except for that it's a really immersive game. Um, that I'm probably going to love it. Um, I Googled it just to find out roughly how long a playthrough takes, and it said something like 24 hours. So there's going to be a few of these videos. My plan is to do like an hour, an hour and a half, two hours max, um, depending on how into it I get. Um, so yeah, it's worth subscribing. Stick around. Let's see how we get on. I said over here. Um, now, first thing to do is to turn up the volume because I turn the music right down. Hopefully that's good. Uh, it doesn't look too quiet. I might crank it up a tiny bit. This is where I don't have the, um, the help of my lovely channel moderators. Shout out to Llama in particular. Also, Mary Biscuits um, and Sparkle Muffin who are often helping me and letting me know when things are too loud, too quiet. Excuse me. Right. Should we get into it? I really don't know what to expect, guys. I'm playing with controller. Is that right? Who knows? It's very odd not having the chat there. <laughs> Again, instant reactions. But let's do it. Select archetype. Do I want to be a thinker, sensitive, physical, or create my own? Thinker. Extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. Knows interesting facts. Comes up with original ideas. Uh, that's not really me. Sensitive. Very psychological. Hold on one sec. Excuse me. 
Very psychological, a magnetic personality, but unstable. That sounds more like me. Uh, might begin to lose his mind. Yep. Yeah. Uh, physical, extremely physical. Interacts with the world through his body. Hmm. Gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Well, that's not me. I feel like this is me, but I'm a bit worried about losing my mind. But I feel like that's me. Sensitive soul. We've got stats here as well. What do they mean? Int. Sai. Face. Mot. We'll find out. Let's go with them. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. R.S. Thomas. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Okay, I can get on board with this. A black screen would be quite easy just to deal with for 24 hours. Ever. Okay. Never, ever. Never, ever? Simply keep on non-existing. Or ask a question. Let's ask a question. We're curious. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. Give me some more. What about the ex something? What was that about the ex something? I don't think we want to ask that. Uh, give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I like nothing. Or how about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? I like that. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Uh, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want me. To yes, let's go for that. Really? I do. Let me off, or don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sell the inky blackness until forever. No, let, come on. I want to. I want to see something. All right. Nothing town to fuck over. <gasps> Bit of swear in there. I didn't know about that. I'm already. I've selected the sensitive character. It's clear I'm a sensitive soul. I might just have to quit. Um. Return trip to silence, please. Let's visit the ancient zero home. Don't know what that means. Look, there's. I am tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit. Should we say that? Uh, let's visit the ancient zero home. Great choice, Elder One. It has always been like this and it always will. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. Let's go the for that. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. Man meat? A sensation. I'm already not sure about this. As in, I I tend, to, when I, <laughs> if I play games, I quite like survival stuff. I like stuff that's like near future. Um, I like real people, as in like recognizable human forms. Um, I'm not really that into fantasy or sci-fi. I'm definitely not into elves and dwarves. Um, but I also acknowledge that a big part of that is on me. I mean, all of it's on me. It's my opinion. But what I mean is I'm, I need to open my mind a little bit. I'm really hoping that this kind of game, just going off on what I'm reading already and what's being said and ancient reptilian brains and stuff like that might, uh, Make me realise I need to expand my horizons a little bit more. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Okay. You can take it. You're a champion. What? Volition. Medium success. You can take it. You're a champion. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. 
No, I am not scared. I am a champion. Should we go all confident? So I'm now being turned into a, a, the human form. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. I know it. Hit. An ungodly headache. These voices. Um, help, someone cut, off, cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Okay, I'm a bit scared now. Let's go back to the dark. Should we say who am I? Let's a say who am I. A streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Okay. Uh, bear with me. I'm just moving my screen recorder thing over. Okay. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. I've only got one choice. Open your eyes. Oh. Oh! I thought I'd fucked it. Here we go. Look at my trousers. <gasps> I thought that I thought I thought I was nude then. I thought I was actually nude. Alright. So it's five past eight in the morning on day one. I really like the look of it. I've got some stuff I can interact with here. Should we pick up this bottle? It looks like I'm hungover. Uh, how do I interact? <gasps> Whoa, I just pressed X and loads of shit have, has come up on the screen. I don't know what any of this means. Character sheet. So this is my character sheet. So intellect, psych, physique, mo motorics. So we intellect, we've got logic, encyclopedia, rhetoric, drama, conceptualization, and visual calculus. And I can level stuff up. Okay. We won't go through everything, but I can level up. All right. But that was just from pressing X. Okay. So what happens when I press Y? Nothing. What happens when I press B? Nothing. What happens when I press A? Nothing. Why can't I interact with these things? I might hold tab to highlight. I'm not using my keyboard. I'm not. Shall I use my mouse instead? Sorry, guys. This is where on Twitch I'd probably have someone in chat going, "Yeah, use mouse and keyboard." Or if you're going to do it with a uh, controller, then you should only be doing this. I'm going to use mouse. Magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay, what about this? It looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh. This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. That's me then, right? I've done this. I'm clearly a mess. We go in the bathroom? Right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna unplug my controller. It looks like we're using mouse and keyboard. Uh, tap's still running. Uh-oh. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet li liqueurs. Liquors? Liqueurs. Liqueurs. Okay. But I've got headaches, so I'm not interested in that. Uh, we, we can we can scroll out, but we can't move. Oh, look, if you right-click, you get to see other stuff. So can what? Can we put these things on? Can I put some trousers on? I'd like to put some tra trousers on. Take. I've got flares and the in my little satchel. Let's take this as well. I've got a disco ass blazer. What's this? A tie? This fan has Whoa. two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. First up, I'm loving the fact that they've got um, voice actors to do this stuff. Because one thing that, if there's a game with a lot of dialogue, obviously you want to be reading it out loud when you're streaming, just in case people are lurking or they're working or they're doing whatever it may be and they've got the stream on in the background and uh, they're not actually looking. Voice actors make it a lot easier. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? <gasps> you feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. 
Savoir Faire medium 10 grabbed the tie. I don't really know what that means, the medium 10 stuff. Is this... One thing I haven't really done is any RPGs or D&D type stuff. I'm probably even getting my genres wrong. Uh, I don't... Like, I... Yeah. Just a medium... Just just, just a, a word followed by a number is 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 worrying me. Not in the sense that I'm going to ditch the game or anything. Um, like I said, I'm open to new stuff and this might actually get me interested. So, medium 10 versus your total f 12. So I succeeded in medium and I got 10. What? We'll work it out. If we need to Google, we'll Google. Uh, so, grab the tie. What's this? This is a... Oh, look. Oh, it is. It's it's dice and stuff. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to Google this now. Um, so, Disco Elysium. Do you want to watch? Uh, all I want to know... So, it's, a, it's an RPG. See, that's the thing. I thought it'd be good to go into this completely without having any idea what I'm getting into. Uh... And now we know that it's a that it's an RPG, which is absolutely fine. This could be it. I mean, the only thing I'd worry about is maybe it would be good to play an RPG with other people who know about these kind of games and give me little tips and explain stuff. But nah, we'll get through it. Non-traditional role-playing game featuring very little combat. Instead, events are resolved through skill checks and dialogue trees. Oh God. Um. Oh no. Still. We'll get used to the mechanic, right? 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 I'm gonna grab the tie. I don't I don't give a fuck. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning, the necktie is no longer contained. Okay, so I've got it now. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colourful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Put on the fan, put on the light bulb, leave. Uh, I feel like we want to leave the fan on. Let's pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Uh, okay, I turned the light on. All right. It's just a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. I'll turn it off, though. The lights are off. Okay. Um, shall I pull on the fan? Well, the fan's already working. If I turn it off, are they just going to say, What a silly thing to do. You are hungover and suffering from a hot flush. The breeze from the fan is cooling your skin and it's making you feel better. The it's... blades come squeaking to a halt. Okay. Well, let's save energy. Why have I got a circle around me? You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Oh, I'm wearing these clothes now. I didn't actually notice so I'd put them on. Uh, take my keys out. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Whirling in rags. I don't know what that means. Is that, is that like the apartment block I live in? Or is it just like a random branded key ring? Single key on the ring, the number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay, so we think I live in number one. Whatever it is, I'm number one. Nothing else to discover here. Let's venture outside if I can stop holding my head. Can't believe I'm going to learn how to play an RPG by myself. This could be absolute carnage. All available exclusively on YouTube.com. Do you like videos? I imagine. Hello, officer. Do an ad for YouTube. Hello, officer. Am I an officer? 
calendar says it's March. The year is 51. This looks a bit more like 70s to me, but... It says 51, so we'll choose to believe it. Should we interact with this woman? The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I military personnel? Or turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Okay, so we've got the option. Alert her to the fact that I have no idea who I fucking am, which is weird. Or walk off and be rude. She said hello. Let's get intel. Uh, no. Oh. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Well, I could be a policeman. Good night. Or all sorts of different officer. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. A CEO, right? Then why, no, I'm just going to say this. Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. Fuck's sake. Are you sure you're shooting me goddamn right? No, let's pretend I know. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to arise this? Do I want to arise this? Do I want her to become suspicious? Or do I want... I think I'm thinking too much about it. We're only like 10 minutes into day, day one. I'm just going to say... I'm going to say you're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. Right. Couldn't say. In truth, so far... Mostly drinking. That does seem to be a problem. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Or I can do a challenging 12. Where I have to throw some dice around. Try the expression on on her. Let her know you want her physically. Well, I'm not going to do that. One, it's not appropriate. And two, it involves rolling dice. I should get going. So who in their right mind would let me be an officer? Why don't I remember being a cop? I'm going to say that. Could it be because of the drinking? I'm enjoying her slow drawl. Why don't I remember being a cop? Okay, we tried that. Who in their right mind would let me? It's going to make me do this. Uh, I'm going to say that. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. A Let's go. Remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Actually, I can see why they would entrust me with the law. I have the right character. Or better let it go or say nothing. I don't feel like I'd be confident enough to say that. Retreat is not a winning tactic. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning what the game expects me to do. Why don't I remember being a lot of Okay. It's literally... It's forcing me to do this. Try the expression. So great at rolling dice. Why are you still doing this? Uh, I'm at death's door, bloated, a goner, and still does the longing never stop. Alcohol raises testosterone levels, especially in men. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You seek comfort. It's only natural. That actually makes a lot of sense. She puts out her cigarette. She's Miss Orange Disco Dancer. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Are we going to have sex? And now, it never stops. Goodbye. Okay, I take that back. That was the question that my... That was the question that my character was thinking of asking. Uh, you can't see my, the character because it's under me. You just see the little legs under here. Um... I thought maybe it was leading to that kind of thing. But as a respectable human, um, a thought does not need to lead to... Act. Let's carry on playing the game. Eat the cigarettes. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Okay. Should we have a look at this? Here we fucking go, my inventory. So I'm, I'm on five, psych, your power to influence yourself and others. Two, motrix, how well you move your body. Four, physique. I like the fact that they've used the F there, how well you, your body's built. And what's this again, intellect. Okay, makes a lot of sense. Health's good, morale's good. We've got some bonuses here. 
I've got a jacket, I've got some pants, I've got a key, and I've got the crazy tie. All right, how do we exit? Press escape. Let's interact with some stuff. Oh, I can run. So if I click, I walk, but if I double click, I run. That's handy. What's this? Newspaper? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Let's go downstairs. Let's run downstairs. Most people set up for better. Oh, didn't get time to read that. Why does everything look so shit? Is, is it 1951 or is it 2051? I've made the big jump and assumption there beforehand saying it looks 70s and because I thought it was 19, 1951 but maybe it's 2051 maybe it's 3051 what have we got here this is where the lyrics would be yeah 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 big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it okay 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 the speaker is connected to the radio the music is is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. I'm going to say my soul is immense. A bit of confidence. And it needs to be heard. Yeah. The PA system. Can I sing? By other people. Yeah. Whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. Oh, yes. What should I sing? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Too right, I will. Don't worry. Um, lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. No, lamentation. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? You have to find something tragic to sing first. Though. I've got okay. Well, I've I've got to try and find a song. So it seems a bit funny to say, "What should I sing?" But I'm still going to ask. Yet stumbled on the right lamentation. It's out there. Okay. But it's out there. It'll no, no. Don't sing the happy song. Okay. Stupid. I get it. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You have to find something tragic to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finish the thought. Okay, so this means... So here, we've got our character sheet. Why have I got a little crown here? Don't worry about it. This is my inventory. Now we've, and this is my journal. And I've got a task, and I've got a map. And we've got no info on the map yet. Uh... You need to find a sufficiently tragic tape, then play it on a boombox to memorise the lyrics. Then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the evening, more people at the bar. Get hold of a sad song on a tape. All right, so I'll just keep an eye out for a tape. Oops. Look at this bird. Oh, shall I speak to this guy? A man in his late 20s. Do you have a tape? Behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Looks like he's looking straight at me, to be honest. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely... He knows I'm a copper. Something tells me you don't like me. Look at the stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? Let's look at the bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Bit unhygienic in a cafe. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Okay. Something about it makes you feel bitter. What happened to the bird? Can I help you with that? Say so, no, I'm going to ask what happened. Look, your buddy is over there. Oh. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? I'm a cop. I could talk to whoever I please. I'm going to say that. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. 
I'm the cafeteria manager. I don't want to be a shit to him because eventually I'm going to need to sing karaoke in his cafe. So I'm just going to say understood. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave and I'm going to go and speak to this guy. Oh, do I or do I look at this stuff? Let's interact with some stuff in the early, early part of the game. Menu wipe clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. Doesn't necessarily mean it's Monday, guys. Could be any day. This is a water cooler. Oh, what have I got here? Nos... Nosaped. Which is... Where is it? As... What's happened? <laughs> I just picked it up, didn't I? Where did it go? Oh, no. I'm really beginning to realize the difference between streaming something because what can happen when you're streaming something is that you can start, you can do something stupid and you can sort of pretend you haven't and then somebody in chat will go, oh, but, oh, this, and then I can read that and I can go, I'm just going to do this. Oh, uh, yeah, Steve, yeah, I, I was just doing that because I actually thought of that. I've got no one helping me now. I've got to have all thoughts by myself. But I'm a big boy, and I can do this. Doris Boulder's sign reads, Kitchen reserved for personnel until one o'clock. Soft perv and electric juice that comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Someone is juicing. Mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open at four. It's currently 20 past eight. And we think it's Monday morning because the blackboard said Monday, but maybe they don't use the blackboard anymore. It could be literally any day of the week. Let's chat to this person. Hello, sweetie. It's the cryptozoologist's wife, Lena. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. I don't think they really care. She nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. I will speak to them. The game's trying to tell me to speak to them, and I will. But I want to look at this thing. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Thank you. This is the kind of stuff I need to know, and then I'm going to... Slightly strangely, just sprint around a bit, just to dip that, just to put the orange bomber man, bomber jacket man, off guard slightly. Good to practice how you move about, and then let's chat. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. Yep. You. Okay. Maybe this was something. Was this... I've, did I... When I picked up that thing over there, did I get what plus one help? Health? I don't know. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Kim Kutsuragi, I assume, is something I might say. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Okay, that's pretty cool. Why do I know that? Hold on, who is he to me? Shake his hand, don't you? If, just because I know that, I'm just going to shake his hand. Play it cool. Just shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. Does that mean I'm more old school? Is this in order? Is do precincts work in order or is it just location? I've got a feeling it's location actually. It's not every time there's a new precinct the number goes up. Anyway, it doesn't matter, Kim. Let's let's keep chatting. You realise he's waiting for your Oh, oh, sorry. This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Shit. Get creative. Conceptualize. Uh let's do it. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Do I have to come up with a name or are they going to give me a name? It's not time yet. Okay, then. He proceeds 
He processes the information then disregards it. Like we had a little okay. scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Talking about the weekend, that confirms in my mind that it is indeed Monday. Uh, we're solving little problems here. Have you had time to talk to the manager? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Is there going to be a murder scene? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <laughs> yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. What interviews? I have. Yes, I haven't. No, I haven't. So should I just let's say what interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I do that. Um, I haven't done it, though. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Okay. You removed the dead body from the tree. I've literally just woken up and put on some trousers. Uh, dead body. I don't like dead bodies. Look, man, you know. Yeah, no. I'm just going to say no. So, the body is still in the tree yes this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice come on kim it is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree kim i've just woken up where it has been hanging for seven days straight we should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner okay what if i told you i'm not really a police officer well, i don't know that so i can't say that how can you be so sure i'm from the police but I can't remember anything. What are we supposed to do again? Let's get going. Do you think we just go along with it? I do. After you, officer. So we've got a new task. We need to interview the cafeteria manager and inspect the victim's body. Okay. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up or I pretend. I'm not pretending. Losing your identification card. Got to report my badge mistake. missing. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay, so I can go out to the car to radio. I'm getting lots of tasks on my to-do list now. But first we've got to do the body, so we've got to interview the guy. Should we interview the guy? Mitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Thank you so much, tutorial agent. Uh, and what, what I might I add? What a fantastically relevant name you have um, to be taking part in this kind of uh, section of the game. Tutorial agent. Okay, Kim, we're we're buddies. We've got an auto save. Let's go speak to the manager, and then we'll get rid of the bod. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41... Sorry, I just accidentally uh, minimised the game for a second then. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. That's not professional, is it? Uh, he looks to you, Rizzo, and he still doesn't know your name. A harbinger of ruin. Why is gold and orange like a forest fire that smells like liquor? I'm currently in between names. That's quite funny. I'm currently in between names. But also the harbinger of ruin is good, isn't it? Currently in between names. Fantastic. It's like when you've left your brand, but you haven't decided on a solo artist name yet. But your band, sorry. Kim is about to say something lame. Let's say that. Let's make little quips. That's wonderful. Really. I think so. But there's a dead body out back. No one wants to work in these conditions. I do like this voice. In a week. The voice acting. He's got a good point. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. 
For a moment, the cafeteria manager fidgets under the lieutenant's gaze. Then he gives in. I don't understand this stuff. I don't understand what this stuff means. But <clears throat> I get the impression that doesn't matter and we're going to be able to just enjoy the game and we're going to be led through it. Um, which is good. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. So we've got to find out who made the call. Oh, do we think it's Sylvie, though? He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper and hands it to the you lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but... As I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Okay. I didn't imply that. Detective. I'm a detective, guys. Mm, yes? I have everything. You? Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Ask them, or no, I'm good. Pass on the questions. I will ask some more. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police <laughs> officer would? <laughs> Where exactly is the body? Who killed him? Why did Sylvie go away? What is your problem with me? You know, I actually can't think. Let's ask where the body is. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Okay, well, we're going to need to go outside anyway to report my badge missing through the lieutenant's car. Uh, so I think we're going to be going outside next. Does he want you to feel guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, what else should we ask? Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Wow. Extra fine. That's all. Let's go. Task complete. We've got 30 experience from interviewing him. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Oh, is that the currency? No one is saying the multi-pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But. But. Let's bail. Time to push the eject button. Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like those. Okay. Okay, the necktie's a character. No, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. So we could slip away and notice. Ah, uh, do you know what I might do? Because I wanted to come into this blind so I could discover this, discover this um, without knowing anything. But maybe after I stop t today's episode uh i might do a little bit of research into some of this stuff just so i kind of get what what it means probably won't probably you'll see on the on the next episode that i have done no research whatsoever but the intention is there um what's real oh, excuse me you owe me 130 real i don't like the cut of this guy's jib i don't like his attitude the i i r or inter isolary real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume. I mean, I did know that. You owe him some money. I thought the question there was what is real, and I thought I was asking my tie. I didn't think I was asking about the currency. I knew it was a currency. Wow, you're a genius. I... Yes, that's right, money. You right. owe this establishment 130 real. Okay. He points to the red ledger on the counter. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Did I just speak? I hear my tie speak to me twice. No. 
but do I, what do I owe this place for? Probably the room and food and drink I've eaten. But what exactly is money? You're under arrest. I don't have many options. That's us what we owe. Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. Okay. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damage. Okay. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Sorry about that. Sleep more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. Ooh, but what exactly is money? What are you, a philosopher? Since work I've had trouble remembering the most basic concepts. No, I'm just getting my bearings. Let's just say that. No, I'm just getting my bearings. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Cigarettes and alcohol? Interesting, where do I get it from? Why do I need it? But what if I don't have any? I don't think I have, so, but what if I don't have any? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets Come on, of Kim. orange bomber. Help me out here, Kim. That's cop four. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight... Then... New challenge. New task. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? Jamrock. It's not that far away. Isn't there somewhere else I can stay around here? I don't have a home. I don't remember where my home is. Fuck this place. I'll take my chances on the streets. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation we do. started now. We need to go to your car, Kim. Good luck. And I need to pay for the damages. Just task, just building up. It's like every day in real life. Just wake up and just task after task. Just build up to-do lists, jobs. Uh, let's go out. Let's use the door. Let's see what outside looks like. Quick, equip a flashlight in low light areas. I will do, thanks. Thanks for the tip. Where's your car? Can we zoom out? Yeah, is this your car? Looks like a police vehicle. We're in the future, aren't we? We're in some sort of cyberpunk. Before you it's not really cyberpunk. The motor carriage, the bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. We know, we know what it is. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It's it's it Kim's. Had time to cool off yet. We know, we know. We're going to go in. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Pick up the radio. Pull out the pull-out toolbox. Don't need that yet. Run your fingers over one of the steering levers now. Nah, tap on the fuel now. Nah. Kim, what are we looking at now? Nah. I need the radio, right? The frequency tabler lights up and the green button labelled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. Ooh. And then you hear something. Is it a bus of a radio by any chance? The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Lieutenant. Wow. For some reason, I don't think I've ever heard that in French. Sorry, with a French accent, but it's clearly a French word. Lutenod. Let's, let's not dwell. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. Come in, dispatch, come in, dispatch. Come in, Delta Town. This is Firewalker. Copy. Hi, Alice. This is the officer from the 41st. Yeah, let's just go for the standard. This is Officer Alice Demetri, precinct 57. How may I assist you? Could you connect me to the 41st precinct? I have something I need to report. I need you to connect me to a civilian, a Sylvie. She may have reported a murder. Let's report the missing badge. Just a second, officer. Puts you on hold of the static cackling, crackling softly like a bonfire. I really like the sound in this game, by the way, so far. Layered music and sound effects. Uh, after a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. Papa? Ten two, ten five. This is forty first. Uh, come in, over. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking. 
with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. Hi, this is me. I work at your station. Seven four. What's your status? Over. Uh, I don't want to say it's not good because it seems kind of fine at the minute. Ten eighteen. Ten twenty. Over. What? Please just talk to human to me. State your message, sir. Over. I need to report my badge is missing. I'm in dire fun need of financial assistance. I don't think we worry about that. I think we can get money elsewhere. This might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. Or well, that's it. No, we'll report the badge. Nine, repeat message. Over. My badge. I don't know where it is. Four, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. 1022 the captain. This sounds bad. Bad and scary. Like being called to the headmaster's office in school. It does. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Say nothing. Who lost his badge? Chester, don't get involved. Whoever you are, Chester. I like your voice. Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. Good. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his back. Okay. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Come and operator, tell them to stop. This is serious. Ha ha, officer has lost his badge. Ha ha, like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Can't we just move on? I want to get it reported and be done with it. I say that. 10 I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. What? I'm in pursuit of my misplaced badge? No, just give me a new one. Fuck me. Mac, come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. All right, Chester. What's going on? Oh, don't bring Mac into this. Super cop here lost his badge. All right. What now? All right. He lost his goddamn fucking bed. Could you all please just stop saying lost his bat? That's what I want to say. He asked you to please stop saying he lost his bat. Yeah. Why? Did he find it? The room at the other end of the line erupts in volcanic laughter. Oh, this is so humiliating. Sergeant Parson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Over. Um, you don't have a comeback. Say nothing. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. More laughter in the background. Could you all please stop? Okay, enough with this now. I have other things After to discuss. Come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Uh oh. Check your pockets. Check your. Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I don't have my gun. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Don't sweat it, Bratan. The necktie. We don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. I'm it's not all over. I'm having fun with the game. I'm having a good time with the game. This is fun. Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Okay, so I can roll and try and convince them. So, it does, so that saying low there, does that mean my chances are low of it working? Let's do it. Even before you can get the Shit. Out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. Now, of course I didn't lose my fun. Gun, fuck it, I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Oh, I'm a laughing stock. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. Thank you. You are a gun. The biggest one in the world. Oh. Request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. So these voices here, are these all... Yeah, these are these. So are these these are all parts of my character. So I'm, I'm really sorry, by the way, if you're watching this and you're like, does this guy know nothing? 
about RPGs or uh, how D&D, but like these kind of games work. Clearly not. Like even the way I'm trying to describe these kind of games, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm literally learning here on the job. <clears throat> if this is frustrating for you, um, this channel might not be for you and I uh, wouldn't watch any of my streams. <laughs> but we're going to learn together. Maybe it's fun watching somebody try and work out what the hell they're supposed to be doing. Um, so I'm just going to have a little look at this. So Island Empire just spoke to me. Hunches and gut feelings, dreams and walking life. Let's look at more of the psych ones. Oh, so, so volition. Empathy, we understand that. Authority, we can to know what that means. E Esprit de Corps, connect to Station 41, understand cop, cult, cop culture. Okay. I can't do any leveling up yet. Do not have enough skill points. I've got no skill points. Charm men and women with suggestion play the puppet master. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... So describe the plasma gun. For starters, it's massive. Got flared cooling vents along the front and hydrogen fly. Okay, I don't know if that's true, but... Kim, what are you packing? It's a good ask, Kim. It's a gun, what can I say? A regular goddamn murder weapon. I go bang, bang. Trick question, I'm a martial artist. My entire body is one big gun. Well, that's what they said. That's what physical instrument said. Look, I don't have it right. I don't have my gun. I'm just going to say that. Let's just cut to the chase. God, he lost his gun. Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> this isn't really a laughing matter. Agreed. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go here made him piss his pants. Hold on. So Matt, so who's Disco? Am I Disco? Is am I Disco Elysium? Is that my name? Yeah? No. Yeah? Chat? Chat? <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass because he still got his wiener. <laughs> Come on, Mac. I'm not going to ask him. Oh. Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. I don't know for sure. We saw, we saw, we saw the character in his pants, and it looked like there was something in there, but we didn't actually have a look. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. That'll make this all right. I left it at his mama's after I fucked her ass all night. I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna do that. That's a negative. I'm not going to say that. Sh shame, shame. What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <clears throat> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom. We're Mac is sensitive about. about his mum. Let's remember that. That could be... That could be useful info. Tell him to apologize right now. <clears throat> Sergeant Dorson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Bother. Don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with the firewalker. I'll tell him I'm sorry, I'm just gonna tell him. Oh, I don't know. Let's let's cause some chaos. Mac, he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. Who? <laughs> Satellite officer V. Uh okay. I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. Walker, not water. Firewater? He's lost it. Fuck it. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters. I've got to find my badge and gun now. Satellite officer. I heard him. Then for affirmative, officer in pursuit of his firearm. Okay. Oh god, I. Uh, officer okay. Further assistance. Over. I do need money, but I feel like they're going to say no. Yeah, let's ask about money. Four, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. 
I'm Don't not. give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. All right, uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, so over. That's, what? So I've got 5p, 5 XP, but I didn't get money, but I, did I? I feel like I just paid off a t pay for your damages. Right, so I haven't actually achieved that. But I have asked the station. We'll come back here in a minute. Paramount to the investigation, you grant me more money. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, I heard. Should we just say it's Paramount, see what happens? He says it's important to the keys and getting a red cent. Request denied, sir. Nothing is working. Okay, let's go. Anything else, sir? Should we do the personal details? I can't really remember what I'm asking, but we may as well. Uh, okay, 10 4, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. What's there to think about? You're going to be looking at a straitjacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. The person I'm speaking to on the radio isn't alone. We've heard all the other voices. 10 4, sir. I'm not hearing your question. So I could ask for. Are you alone? I need to ask some confidential information. I wanted to know if you got my badge description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Please refer to me with my full name in future. That could be good. Any news about my family? Have I ever told you about my life? Let's wrap this up. I'm going to do that one. Refer to me with my full name. The nine repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Call, stop calling me sir and use my goddamn real name. Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want? I'm not getting anything from this, am I? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. <laughs> Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Mullen. The whole disco thing wasn't... I totally misunderstood that. I'm Mullen. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. I feel like writing Mullen down. I'm going to write Mullen down on a piece of paper, which I will then uh, never look at again and won't be able to find when I need it. And you won't be able to remind me, people in chat, because there's nobody in chat and I'm not streaming live. Oh. Uh, hold on, are you... Okay, so I did that. Any news about... Okay, should we just wrap it up? Let's wrap it up. That's all for now. Static ends with a loud click and everything is silent. 18 kilometers to the south in the 41st Precinct's relay booth. A small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Oldboy Pidier, around a dozen cops. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? She asks, startled. Jean Vichermeer turns to her and says, What happened is my partner made contact. It's not good. Partner? His badge and his sidearm. He seemed confused, delirious even. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to start up a whole new page. On a pad. So we think my name is Mullen. And we think my... Well, we know now that my partner is Jean Vigomer. Vigomer. We think. Mac, the torso Torson, is finger fucking his fist. <laughs> what? Horsely, and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean. Chester and Mac are partners. I'm not going to write down everything that happens in this game, guys. Don't worry. Chester and Mac just. Just, it's good to, you know, when you're doing GCSE revision, it's good to write stuff down, visualize the information, and it helps it go in. Yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Mullen. Yeah, Max's right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before, he started begging for money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enough! None of this is funny. It's fucking sad. I like the sound of my partner. He's a cop. 
It's one of us, goddamn this. Yes, Jean, I like my partner. We must help him. Mina looks down at her neatly polished black shoes. There is a quiet firmness to her voice when she speaks. Yeah. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on car juice? He's a lost man. I am. I just know we can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Judith's nice too. Someone's trying to slip out unnoticed. Back. Man the door. You just... know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Those were his words. I said that. Mullen said that. Decides heavily and turns to address the room. This shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain. Or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I like this. So, we've got some sort of investigation going on. In a minute, we're going to go and look at this body that's hanging in a tree. I'm aware that this... Um, video has been going on for about an hour already so we're going to go and have a quick look over there I said between an hour and two hours for each of these so we'll aim for an hour and a half or something like that who knows you, I mean you can literally I don't know but you can look down now and look how long this video is that's how long it's left um, but I like the fact that we've got this investigation going on but also we've got the investigation into myself who am I what am I what am I doing uh, what's my history? Why have I? Why can't I remember anything? It's fun. It's different. It's very different from any other game I've played. I guess I can hold off the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. So Jules is doing a report. But they're all clubbing together and they're going to give me a chance to sort myself out. So that's good. They're going to cover up for it. Although those two, Mac and Chester, I think we're going to have to worry about them. I think we might have some troubles ahead when it comes to those guys. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. Right, do I want to pick up the radio again? No. Do I need a toolbox? I don't think so. I don't think I... I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. We could... Should we get him to tell us what the machine is? This is the Coupris Kinema. My motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the radio if you'd like. Cool. Motor carriage. Motor carriage. Something bad with a motor carriage. A dark lump rises in your throat. Oh, really? What is this sinking feeling I have with the words motor carriage nothing it's probably nothing forget i brought it up please proceed with the carefree lollygagging what you what mate do i actually want to hold on a sec just in case let's google this okay 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 Transitive verb informal to fall around and waste time. Dawdle, stop lollygagging and get to work. We were slow because the girl was lollygagging. The photographer was photographing and I was on crutches. What? Can we turn it on and drive somewhere? I don't want to do that yet. What is a motor carriage? Do all policemen in RCM have such cool motor carriages? Let's ask that. The Cupris motor car does provide most of our patrol vehicles, yes. Okay. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox. I'm going to get the toolbox. Of glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Just so we can see what's in it. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. Might be worth me getting a weapon. I know I don't have my gun anymore. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. Right, we've already seen the tip about using a flashlight in the dark, so that could be handy. So maybe I'll take that. Chain cutters and a pry bar. I think we take the flashlight because we've already had a tip about it. It feels like these two would be more handy. But let's face it, it's dark every day. At some point during every day, it's going to be dark. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue blue. Can I just take everything? Once you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Let's take the pry bar. The pry bar feels yeah. nice in your hand. 
cold and heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. I'm going to take the chain guards too. The handles are long Yes. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. I was worried I'd have to pick just one, but my inventory is chock-a-block. Got loads of space. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow on the steering levers. Okay, I'm going to close it. I've, I've heard all that before. I've heard all that before, car. Or part of mind that I don't quite understand. Okay, we'll do a bit more. I want to go and we could talk to these people, but I think I'm literally going to go and look, look at this body because that's that's the main the main objective, right? That's my case. Let's find a tree with a body in it. Oh no, a child is looking at it. Oh dearie me. Uh, are you throwing stones at a body? Kuno's got this. <laughs> are you twelve? Oh yeah, Napa Goofy Kuno. What? Where's the other kid? <gasps> Up here. So there's Kuno and Kuno S. Nakpa, Nakpa Gumpy Kuno yells the other kid. Hey kid, a word, police business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting into this. Okay, no, we'll say it's police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. They're just ignoring me. Throwing stones at a dead dick. It's loving in the dick. Oh. That's a shame, isn't it? The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Oh, and what does that mean? I don't really want to go into that. Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. I'm going to say that. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. I hate these kids. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Right, what's electrochemistry? Because I feel like this is a bad a bad part of my, my brain. Electrochemistry. I can't see one that says that. What? Did it say that? Electro, here we go. Go to Party Planet, love and be loved by drugs. There you go. Bad influence. Never mind. Kuno's riding it, see? <laughs> you wipe sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. Please. The rake, Kuno! Rake? You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Kim, what should we do? Are you kid siblings? Look, I have questions for you. I don't have time for this. Are you kid siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f***ed, Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! I'm not going to interact with this part of the game. I know it's I know it's starred out, but just intimating this this slur is is bad. I think uh, I don't have time for this. Little shit. Right, should we have a look at the body? The body. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen. And ready to burst. His lips are fish like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Ugh. Uh but it is a man, isn't it? It's just because he's dead and he's been hung and it's it's just a sorry state of affairs. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down or turn away. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Let go of your nose without throwing up. Turn away. You do that? I think it's going to make me do that. The smell Fucked is it. repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, 
more instant and more familiar than anything you've expected, more fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let it out, should I just fob? Trigger warning, bit late, bit of a content warning for anybody who's not into vomiting. Oh, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen that. Great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. Oh, God. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Sorry. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thank you. Be polite. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could True. use some ammonia to clear your head. Where do we get ammonia? There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. I'm going to have they to get this now, aren't I? Let's see the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Corner of the whirling in rags, that's where I'm staying. Greenhouse here and a gardener with a wheelbarrow in the corner. Okay. Acquiring a Actually, we saw them, didn't we? A modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay, from my limited knowledge of watching a bit of Booch Daddy on Twitch um, do D&D, &D, checks happen when something is about to happen in game, we do a check. We do some sort of relevant check to that situation. So let's say it was like, right, you're about to do a um, speech in front of an audience. We might do like a confidence check. And we'd roll, and if it's high, then you're going to be very confident and it's going to go well. But if it's low, then you're going to be very nervous and it's going to go badly, right? So throughout this game, there'll be lots of times when I have to do checks. Acquiring ammonia will provide... A modifier. So then you can add modifiers to checks. I don't know what that means. But modifier makes checks easier and allow you to retry them. I do know what that means. The white check, I don't know what that is. But I don't think it matters right now. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Turn away. What is that? Why is it so bad? It took it to throw up, officer. No one is judging. The lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow, Kuno. I've already been sick, thank you, Kuno S. Right. Can I climb this tree to... I reckon whoever did it's in this birdhouse. Let's inspect the body more. There he still is, looking right through you. Oh. with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Right, so I have to get the ammonia from the gardener in order to make inspecting the body easier. We'll come back to the journal in a sec. Before we finish today, we'll come back to the journal. Or actually, maybe it'll be better to do that at the start of the next episode. Or maybe both. Uh, let's look at these things. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Human being decomposes. Kid's ladder is rickety but still climbable. Does, I feel like it, that makes... Oh, maybe eventually we'll have to climb up to release. Look at the greenhouse. Someone is trying to grow herbs in the greenhouse. What's this? Winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay. What's this? The letter R wears a crown. On the ribbon below, a light above descending. Hot. I'd like to be able to just fucking get this child to leave. Let's see if there's anything else I can say to them. Can't you see I'm throwing rocks? I'm gonna ask questions. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Okay. What you got. The body. What do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. 
Kim, help me out here. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Okay. You have no idea what the usual is. Do you know Just who he is? Whatever comes to mind. Kuno's fucking. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. God. End of conversation. Very strong. You should be this stoic. Move. Mm. Let's just ask all the questions. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay. I don't know. Some fucking. He's trying to come up with a story. Oh, I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. Where's Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. What's that? I don't like it. <laughs> I, uh, that sounded really bad. Let's move on. You're testing Kuno's patience, yeah. Let's move on from these awful kids. Yeah, let's, let's please let's just leave. Kuno doesn't fuck oh fuck off. And with the words fuck off, I think that might be the perfect place to leave the first episode of my first timer playthrough of Disco Elysium. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Elysium? It's Elysium, isn't it? Um, that's good. Let's uh, turn the... I should know. Let's, let's leave. Let's leave all the environment settings there. Um, actually, do you know what? Let's save. Save the game. And then... Uh, go back to the main menu. And quit. We're done. Oh, 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 oh! Thank you, everybody. Um, I enjoyed that. I think we're we're in a in a good position there. We're good. We're in a, we're well set up for the next episode, the next playthrough. I'm quite looking forward to it. Do you know, part of me was just thinking, shall I just go and like put on a different jumper and just record the next one straight away? Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um. I think what I might do is get this up on YouTube and then do the next one. I don't know. I don't know. There's no point in talking about plans because I may well change them and uh, you don't want to hear about that. Thank you very much, though. I'm excited. We know I'm a policeman. We know I have a murder. Uh, well, we've got a dead body. We don't know if it's a murder um, that we have to investigate. We know that I'm in a bit of a state, that I need to get my gun and my badge back. We've got two little annoying little shit kids that we've got to deal with. Uh, I've got a partner. Um, we've got all kinds of RPG situations we're going to get to grips with, but it doesn't look like that's going to be hindering my progress, not knowing what I'm doing there. Um, and it's good. It looks good. I really like the dialogue. I like the fact that um, the characters seem to have some depth. I like the fact that there's a crazy tie. I'm looking forward to playing more. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please, as I said, if you subscribe, you get a little alert to the next time one of these videos goes live. I'll be doing these. don't know. I'm going to try at a minimum to put out one a week, um, which could end up being like 23 weeks. Uh, who knows how long it will take me to play the game. Um, and as I said, if you want to watch me play any other games, just have a look. I've got playlists of all the different games I've played on Twitch. Um, and most importantly, if you don't already... Come along, check me out, twitch.tv um, forward slash ad underscore ad underscore ad. And there's my schedule. Monday at 7.15 p.m., Tuesday at 1.15 p.m., Friday at 1.15 p.m. Uh, hopefully see some new faces there. Um, and if you already watch and you've watched today uh, and you've enjoyed it, let me know in my next stream. Thanks very much, guys. I've had a great time, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Disco Elysium playthrough. Bye.